Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm going to continue my Milwaukee tools I use the least. In this case, it's the top five Milwaukee M12 tools that I use the least. Um, and to start it off, this is the M12 copper tubing cutter. Got this for a uh, remodeling project, used it a bunch, and haven't used it probably in a couple of years. I mean, I think I made a video with it to show you. It's, it's absolutely amazing when you need it, um, but I haven't been doing as much copper. I mostly do PEX. Um, so this saved, um, saved a lot of time and got into some small areas and did a great job. So it paid for itself, but I don't use it that much. Um, thought about selling it, but I know the moment I do, I'm going to need it. So it just sits and waits. Um, the next one is the, the M12 stick light. This is the LED stick light. Basically, it's on and off. And that's it. It's got kind of a wonky handle here that slides around. Doesn't quite work all that well. It's got a tripod mount here. Um, I can pry this back into a little slot at the very end and balance it, I guess, maybe have a disco. But overall, it just is not that functional a light. Um, it's small, it's simple, low profile, wedges into a lot of small spots, but it just doesn't seem to point the light where I want it. So I use all kinds of other lights, but this one. Um, next one, this is the uh, M12. You can see it's the right angle drill. Uh, goes up to 3 8 It's got a decent chuck on it. Um, however, with a bit, it's still pretty long. And if you compare that to some of the uh, some of the drills, you know, it, you're not gaining a huge benefit. Um, in fact, let me grab something like this little M12 here, and I still have to get the M12 surge. You can see, yeah, I might gain a little over an inch is all. Now, if you need that, then you need it. But um, I found that it doesn't have quite the juice that I would hope. Um, it does really well when you need something like that. It just turns out that um, the difference between clearance here and clearance here, I don't run into very often. Um, and in this particular case with this particular uh, uh, drill, the, M the M12, this is not a fuel one. It doesn't seem to have quite the torque. It's more for those very specific small jobs where you do need that clearance, and it turns out that doesn't come that doesn't come up as often as I thought. There were uh, I was doing some uh, camper renovations and RV stuff, and it, you know something like that you don't need a lot of torque, and sometimes you are in a confined spot. So yes, it paid for itself in a few jobs, but I find that I really don't need that extra little bit here very often. So it sits around. Um, the next one might surprise you. Um, I've used this a bunch, but not as much anymore. Um, kind of beat up. This guy here is the 3 8 inch uh, M12. Um, let you see the tag here. Uh, cordless ratchet. Now, this is a an excellent tool, but why don't I use it much? Well, because it got displaced by these two. I've had this one, but I found this is just amazing for so many jobs. So if I need something that's smaller, I tend to grab this. If I need something that's bigger, I tend to grab the long neck one. So this guy now does most of the stuff I used to use that for. And if this is too big, I often go with the little guy. So these two here um, are fabulous. They, they handle about everything that I need to do, which means this poor guy gets to sit on the shelf and just watch. Um, and lastly is this particular Rover light. This is, um, they have a tag on these. Maybe I took it off. Maybe there it is. Pop this out. Um, right here, this is the uh, compact floodlight from uh, Milwaukee, that's the M12, has five LEDs. It actually works great, except, you can turn it on here, so it's on and off. Hmm, what's wrong with that? Well, it's a fixed shape. 
And usually I can get it to kind of point where I want by setting it different ways. However, this one here is the M18 version and it is so much better. It does a lot of stuff that that little M12 doesn't. Um, this one has both a magnetic base and a kind of a two by four grabbing thing here. So does this. But once you're uh, in that position, this one allows a lot more head flexibility. So if you were gonna use one of these and they're similar in size, you know, this one makes a whole lot more sense. So this one doesn't get a lot of use. Instead, my M18 Rovers have taken over and I use these constantly. So those are my M12 tools from Milwaukee that I use the least. Of course, like usual, please share your observations and experiences. If there are M12 tools, you know, that you don't use as much or particular corded cordless tools, let me know. And if you disagree with some of these or think I'm missing out on something, um, let me know that as well. And with that, Doc out.